In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix your computer when you encounter startup issues that will lead Windows 10 to running the automatic repair tool. When you power on your computer, you'll notice that the automatic repair process might run for a couple of minutes before landing on the automatic repair screen. Now, this can be caused by a number of things like a sudden power loss or power outage of your computer, issues with your Windows registry, boot file corruption, or even missing or damaged system files. But there's a few things you can try which will help to repair the issue and get your computer back up and running. The first thing you can try is by running the startup repair tool. Go to advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup repair. This will try and diagnose the issue with your computer to quickly fix most common issues that may be preventing your computer from booting up. If that doesn't work, then it will bring you back to the blue window telling you that startup repair couldn't repair your PC. But not to worry, there's still a few things we can try. The quickest way to resolve this is if you have a restore point configured which will bring your computer back to a working state. To check if you have this enabled, go back to Advanced Options, Troubleshoot, Advanced Options again, and select System Restore. In later versions, you'll be prompted to log in with your account, so I'll just pop in the details here for it. So this will go ahead and load the system restore process. Select next. Here you'll see a list of system restore points that you have on your system. So go ahead and select your most recent restore point. Select next. You'll now be asked to confirm this restore point, which is what we want to do. So select finish. The process cannot be interrupted once started, so select yes that you're happy to start this. This will go and revert your system to a point in time when the system was working. Okay, the system restore completed successfully, so let's restart to log back in. After you log in, you'll see the confirmation telling you that the system restore completed successfully and that your documents weren't affected during this process. Another way to try and fix the automatic repair issue is to try by using the check disk utility from command prompt. Check disk is a Windows utility that can check the integrity of your hard drive and can fix various file system errors. So if you type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space c colon. Adding the forward slash F switch means it will scan for and will attempt to repair errors in the file system on the disk. Adding the forward slash R switch includes the same as the forward slash F switch, but also scans the entire disk surface for physical errors and attempts to repair them as well. So once the file structure and disk have run through these checks, it will tell you if it's found any errors on the disk. To see if this has fixed the issue, exit out of command prompt and continue to Windows 10. Another reason you could be having issues with your computer start is possibly to do with the boot configuration data or BCD. This contains boot configuration parameters on how to start Windows. You can fix this by going back into command prompt, type in disk part, then list vol. Now I can see that my C drive is volume one, which is where my operating system is but it's the system or recovery partition where we need to assign a drive layer to. To do this, type SEL space vol space zero, which selects the volume for the system or recovery partition. Enter assign space letter space Z. Another list space file will now show that the recovery drive has been assigned the Z drive letter. So let's exit out of this part. And we'll go ahead and rebuild the system boot configuration by typing in the following command bcd boot space c colon windows forward slash s space z colon space forward slash f space all the bcd boot space c colon slash windows part initializes the system partition by using bcd files from the c windows folder 
with forward slash s bcd boot copies the boot files to either the system partition or the partition specified by the forward slash s option which in this case is the z drive forward slash f specifies the firmware type when you specify the all value bcd boot creates the boots and the new microsoft boot directories and copies all required boot environment files for bios and uefi to these directories next type boot rec space forward slash fix mbr this writes a new master boot record to the system partition to start windows the boot rec space forward slash fix boot this option writes a new boot sector to the system partition by using a boot sector that's compatible with windows boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd this option scans all disks for installation that are compatible with windows it will then go ahead and rebuild the bcd store so with that successfully done exit out of command prompt and continue to see if you can start windows successfully if the issue still persists then you can try and restore your registry so let's go back into command prompt First you want to know which drive your operating system is installed on, so let's type in disk part, then list volume. Here you can see a list of the volumes on your computer. I know that my operating system is installed on the C drive, but I find it's always good practice to confirm this along with determining the other volumes. So we'll exit out of this part. Next type in C colon. If you then type in DIR, you can see the Windows directory, which is what we're looking for. We'll then change directory to Windows, System32, and Config. And we'll view the contents here by typing in DIR. Next, we want to make a directory here, so let's type in MD space backup1. then copy space star dot star space backup one this will go and copy the files in the config folder into the backup one folder cd space regback will bring us into the registry backup folder type in dir and you'll see the contents of this folder now you can see the five files here in the registry backup which i can use to restore the registry it's important to check here that you have five files that have values like you can see here and not showing zeros like I've seen previously. If your backup registry files are displaying values of zero here, like you can see in this image, or you don't see any files in this folder, then you'll need to exit out of command prompt and return to the advanced options window. If you can see values like I have here, then go ahead and type in the following command, copy space star, dot star space dot dot this will get you to confirm that you want to overwrite the existing files with the files in the registry backup type all and enter now you'll see that the five files have now been restored you can now exit out of command prompt and continue to windows 10 to see if this fixes the issue if you're able to get back into windows through a different method you want to check if you have registry backups enabled Windows stopped automatic registry backups in Windows 10 back in 2018, but this can still be enabled by editing a registry key. Once in the registry, go to H key local machine, system, current control set, control, session manager, and then configuration manager. Right click for a new key and select D word 32 bit value then name it enable periodic backup and then change the value to one so i hope you found this useful thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials